Hello there, Libras. So the first thing here is um, we have the Strength card and the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords signifies an air sign. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And the energy, they can be th their sun sign, moon sign, or rising. The kings in the deck, they are very, very strategic people. They know what they need to do in order to achieve a specific outcome, okay? This can be good or bad in the way that you interact with this person. I feel like you're dealing with someone who is a little bit arrogant, who is a little bit of a know-it-all. Like, I feel intellectual snobbery um, associated with those people that are circulating around you. And what I do feel is... Um, because you're also an air sign, this can be you or this can be somebody in your external environment. But what it's telling you here is don't lose your temper. If you are dealing with a situation, um, stay level-headed and stay cool and collected. So don't jump the gun. Don't jump into any um, pres presumptions, I guess, like um, assumptions, presumptions, or even like um, you might feel as if, okay, I've heard this before. I know this entire story. Or you feel like you might have somebody pegged a certain way, but it is really important for you to hold your tongue and just, you know, listen to everything that they have to say. And then, you know, try to be fair and level uh, and like even handed in your social interactions with other people. Okay. So it, it's telling me here to hold back. Don't offer your opinion too soon. Wait till the other person, you know, say, uh, says their piece before you jump to conclusion. Um, what I'm also feeling is, though, I, I feel this might be an energy circulating around you. So it's basically saying to be very, very diligent, to be very patient and focused for this month and deliberate. So don't scatter your energy on external people, environments that are not conducive for um, your own projects, your own personal agenda, okay? So um, there might be people circulating around you that are not working at their best. They might be a little bit of a nuisance to your accomplishment, to your goals. And let that wall fall on the wayside and don't divert your energy in trying to, you know, um, deal with situations that are not pertaining to everything that's happening in your environment, in your own needs, okay? To your own needs. So... Um, the strength card also indicates strength of character. This is like our moral compass guiding us in the right direction. This is also a situation where we are going to have to stick up either for ourselves or for other people who do not have a voice. So I feel like you're taking a very, very courageous stance this month, which is a great energy. Uh, once again, like I said, don't... Um, Take on people's burdens and don't, especially don't take on other people's problems as if they were your own. It is other people's, um, I guess, like incentive to have to stand up for their so themselves and to have to sort out problems on their own. So I feel like you might be taking a courageous stance in a situation that doesn't pertain to you. And as a result of it, you might be feeling, you know, getting like an empty victory because you're not the one that needs to learn that lesson. So it is really important to be self-contained and to be very, very patient and to, uh, I guess, like draw back your energy just a little bit, okay? Um, there is great mental agility to get things done. I do feel a very sharp, directed, and purposeful um, you know, like, I, I feel like your mind is quickening. Like, like it's, it's like a computer. I feel that if there have been problems that you were uh, ruminating over or mulling over in the past and you couldn't find a solution or a good outcome for it, this is a very good month for you to revisit old problems and to have a very con um, productive time problem solving, troubleshooting, as well as... Um, pursuing things that you have left in the back burner. This is a month for you to wrap up old projects, okay? So very, very good energy at the very beginning of the month, which bodes well, and I feel that it will pervade throughout the month. Now, in terms of other things you're waiting on, we have the Judgment card, which is uh, a new beginning, and the Four of Swords, which basically means a little bit of a stalled energy in terms of allowing this new beginning to take place. So a lot of you are waiting on something, uh, waiting on an... Um, possibly communication, are waiting on some type of a final step, some type of a conclusion to a situation. And I feel that it's going to conclude by the end of the month, Some whatever you were waiting on. I do feel there is going to be contact. There will be communication. There will be information that is being disclosed so that if you have been kept in the dark about something, I definitely feel you're getting some type of information that will bring about closure for you.
On the other end of the spectrum, I do feel the judgment card indicates like new beginnings on a more transformative, on a more soul, life direction type of a level. So this is a major arcana card and it is greatly indicative of major, major changes happening for you. So I do feel that one of the main things you want to be careful about is, it seems to me like life is happening, everything is, is spinning around you and there's this... Um, accelerated energy that is coming through it's like a breath of fresh air and it can be very um very strong and very like um just conducive for change so while all of this is happening around you i do feel that you are taking a step back and you're not making decisions once again so be mindful that there is change is imminent something is coming through you can't really um you know like uh block it you can't really force it but i do feel a lot of you are just like I just want a, a moment of peace and quiet and I just really want some time to myself in order to reflect, in order to process all of these um, new changes, new procedural changes possibly in the work environment as well. So if you feel like, you know, in the past you have everything pretty much figured out and um, you might have been in a work situation where you feel like, okay, I understand the procedures, I understand how to streamline the workflow, but all of a sudden new new implement, um, new rules are being implemented, new ways of doing are being, um, I guess, like introduced into the work environment, and you're still trying to, I guess, adjust to the changes, and as a result of it, you're not moving as fast. But once again, it is a very directed energy that you're bringing to the table for this month. So the new energies coming through would be very conducive for long-term stability, okay? But you are taking some time off. For a lot of you too, there might be a little bit of squabble within the home environment, okay? So this pertains to the people that you are consider your family or the people that you are living with. So either, you know, um, blood relatives that you consider family or some type of um, home environment where you're living with uh, roommates. I do feel there is more energy, busyness around the home environment. And as a result of it, you might not be getting enough sleep. So for example, they could be, you know, simply doing some type of unearthing um, and even construction around your environment and it might you know create a lot of noise where you're not getting restful sleep they might I don't know somehow disrupt electricity or water flow to the place where you're living so there's something around the home environment on the other hand I feel that there might be some medical issues coming through from a relative this is somebody that um, I feel like is related by blood so it is some somebody that is very dear to you. There might be some medical diagnoses coming through that would require that they take um, a little bit time off work in order to rest and recuperate. So that's what I'm feeling with these two cards here. In terms of your own energy here, we do have the Fool card as well as the Five of Swords. So the Fool card and the Five of Swords, the Five of Swords, fives always indicate some type of a conflict okay and usually five of wands I usually read that as a um, as an internal conflict something that we're grappling with like you know decisions choices trying to do the right thing when the temptation is posing um, as such a um, it can be tempting so the five of swords usually indicates a conflict between you and another person um, in this situation is a little bit tenuous mainly because it indicates like an empty victory depending on which side of the coin you're on a lot of you are not going to be dealing with combative people rather than engaging in conflict you are potentially choosing to walk away so that because you know it's an empty victory. So for example, if you've been dealing with somebody who has been very difficult, communication has been very um, sporadic between you and the other person, and you feel like no matter what you say, they always have a rebuttal. You know, like they could be defensive, they could just be operating on a different wavelength where you both cannot see eye to eye. And when you try to have some type of a meaningful communication exchange between the two of you, you just can't get past these communication barriers. It seems as if you might as well be speaking different languages. I do feel if this is an ongoing issue, you are choosing to extract yourself from it and walking out of it, or you are not going to engage in the same way with this person like you have in the past because you realize that it's a waste of your energy you have a lot more work to do on your plate so you feel like you're not going to divert your attention or your time or your 
energy towards channels that are proving to be problematic or unproductive in the past. Um, the Five of Swords also indicates basically picking up the spoils from war. Okay, there is a, it could indicate moving as well. So I'm getting the Fool, which is a brand new journey, as well as the Five of Swords, which could be, you know, picking up the pieces of your life and moving on, compartmentalizing everything, putting everything in boxes. This is the beginning stages of packing. Um, it could also indicate unpacking for those of you who have recently moved into a home because I, I do feel a lot of uh, you are spending more time as well with family or just within your home environment so you're taking stock you might be unpacking or you might be putting things in boxes to prepare for some uh, new you know um, path or a new voyage in the next phase of your life so overall very good energy once again the Five of Swords can be a very um, problematic card. It indicates a swift victory, but when it comes out in the reverse as well, it can indicate an empty victory. So it's a victory that could potentially be at the detriment of somebody else, or it can be an empty victory in which words are exchanged between two parties and nothing is really gained from it except you know hurt feelings from both sides. So be very mindful about this. I do feel that you have this... Um, air about you where you're not very tolerant um, of other people and their drama and their problems and their excuses specifically so just be mindful of what is being said and you know try to curb your your um, your tongue try to hold your tongue just a little bit if you are working amongst other people no matter what they do don't let it emotionally destabilize you and don't let it seep into you know the way you interact with them okay so don't engage in it um, if it's not necessary now, in terms of communication, we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So for a lot of you, this could um, this Queen of Cups is a water sign. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this can show up as a ma maternal figure, a very caring person in your life, like a, a mentor, a maternal figure, or usually like somebody that has provided a lot of emotional support for you in the past. What I do feel is um, I am sensing that you are turning to somebody for advice you're turning to somebody for some type of a help assistance um, in order to start a new phase in your life okay I'm not sensing so much financial assistance I'm sensing more like either intellectual like um, knowledge emotional support if it's a female or if it's you know somebody that has been very nurturing to you and it serves as a mentor to you I do feel some type of a hand-holding situation where they are walking you through um, life's lesson they're trying to buffer you against it um, against the hardships of life they're providing a lot of good insights to help you develop yourself like emotionally, intellectually, and you know, just as to become a better person or to become a more mature person. For others of you, this can indicate a romantic partner as well, okay? So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female, if you are romantically linked with this person, I do feel that in the past, communication has been very, very problematic. I feel that if this is somebody you're dealing with, there might have been a situation where you took a break from one another um, just because I feel like the attraction is definitely there and that sense of loyalty and trust and mutual you know, respect for one another is definitely there. But the communication has not been too great. I feel that you were, um, the other person is very sensitive. They're very emotional. And I feel like the way that you normally communicate, they, they take it as a... Um, a slight so I feel like it's just their sensitivity and they might misinterpret or they might misconstrue the words that you say so I do feel some type of truce being reached this month between you and this person if you are dealing with this person in a capacity where you feel that they are they have been emotionally distant or they have been manipulative over you I do feel some type of ending some type of a severance um, um, severing ties with this person going on for good okay so it just depends on which end of the spectrum you fall under so Pisces Cancer Scorpio um, overall it seems to me like this is somebody that is supportive and for a majority of you it could play out as a romantic partner 
Um, if you haven't been having like, you know, good communication, I definitely feel that the energy is going to alleviate for you to be able to have some type of a communication breakthrough, some type of a truce, and some type of a decision moving forward with this water sign. Now, in terms of your advice, we have the chariot, the eight of wands, and the five of pentacles. The first thing that I am sensing here is um, I do feel as well, this is a good month for you to try to stay put, okay? You might get a lot of a flurry of invitations, like social outings and things like that. I see you moving back and forth. I see you like, um, for those of you who are living with a romantic partner that you are having, you know, communication problems with and you're having trust issues and things like that, I feel almost like um, you are trying to break out of your rut. You're trying to get out more possibly because you might not want to stay at home and interact with them. I feel like there is a um there's some jealousies. You might be going out a lot and somebody is feeling a little bit neglected, a little bit jealous and just a little bit spiteful. So I do sense that energy coming through and especially for those of you who are taking care of like elderly parents for example if they have been sick for quite some time I do feel that uh, a lot of you are a little bit stressed out you are kind of um, upset that the responsibilities have been imposed upon you and I feel that you're going out more you're trying to break away from this energy because you know a lot of the times if we're dealing with elderly parents and they're aging and they're they're not in the best state regarding their physical or mental health it can be a very emotional drain on us so I do feel if this is something that you're dealing with um, getting out of the house itself is it, while it's good for your mental health I do feel that it is really important for you to reach out and talk to somebody about this because I feel like it's just a, a temporary you know um, form of escape it doesn't resolve anything long term and additionally the other person might feel a little bit neglected and a little bit kind of like put on the back burner for you okay so if you're dealing with this um, on the home front and especially when it comes to like elderly parents and things like that it is really important to tell them that you know it's not you sometimes I just need my own space I feel like a lot of you are feeling claustrophobic in your current living environment or in your working environment and as a result of it you might want to just branch out you might want to just go for a drive get some fresh air and be by yourself so that you're not dealing with uh, that claustrophobia that sense that the walls are closing in on you okay you might just be in a position where you need a lot more alone time, a lot more rest, and you can't adequately do so within the house environment because it feels a little bit claustrophobic to me. So um, you might just, you know, go for a drive, or you might just want to branch out, and you might just want to to connect and and you know. Um, link up with other people so as a distraction more than anything and as a way to just get out of the house in terms of love though I definitely feel a lot of trips happening a, a voyage by land so I don't feel that you're going overseas um, but there could be long distance communication regarding you know people wanting to come see you regarding parents relatives family members I feel more friends and also like um, potentially relationship partners or romantic partners, people that might ha have romantic inclinations for you in the past, if they have not been bold enough to make themselves known, I do feel they are going to make themselves known for this uh, month. I do feel a lot of you might be traveling to see family members, especially elderly parents, and I feel like there might be some health issues connected with the elderly parents for quite some time. Like I said, this is not news to you, and I don't feel it's anything that is um, sudden. I feel like this is something that is chronic, and it has been happening you know, for, for a few months. You're coming just to check on how they're doing, okay? In terms of the Five of Pentacles, this is a situation where um, we can have financial hardships or there can be like a, a little bit of a dip in self-esteem as well. So um, people usually say, like some readers call it like the bankruptcy card, um, financial bankruptcy or spiritual and moral bankruptcy. So be very careful about this if it sounds like it's playing out in your life. What I do sense is that... Um, 
I do feel that a lot of you are dating again. A lot of you have like taken a break from dating for the past four months. You are now on the market again. So this can be, you know, you're ta you've taken a break trying to find a new job. Some new jobs opportunities are coming through, especially on the interview front. And you're getting yourself out there. But at the same time, you feel almost like mentally unprepared for it. And you might feel like, you know, this sense of discomfort coming while it's very exciting. It seems almost as if there might be um, that sense of discomfort coming in, not knowing what to do, feeling as if we've been away from the dating game for quite some time and we're not sure how we can relate to another person. I would say on that front, don't worry about it because um, you are going to be very well received, okay? For a lot of you, um, I do feel you are conversing with somebody long distance okay and this might be somebody that you have financial links with it also indicates to me some type of a karmic link that has broken down so it could be a former spouse like an ex and you might have a uh, joint property joint bank accounts you might have children with them I do feel like you're not interacting face to face mainly because you might not get along with one another and as a result of it um, you might just like communicate you know very briefly curtly through text rather than dragging on the conversation because you you don't want to interact with them so I def definitely see some severing of ties potentially would an and oh, I'm sorry, a water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I definitely feel that they are trying to, you know, come back into your life. They they are trying to possibly pay you a visit as well. And I do sense that at this point, you have some financial arrangement or something like linked up with them, either children, property, joint assets, bank accounts, or something like that. Is making it difficult to you know physically extract yourself because I feel like emotionally legally you are extracted you're on your own I feel pretty much but I do sense that they're somehow making a comeback and there might be communication regarding finances so on a physical level you might not be able to extract yourself just yet okay um the last thing that I want to emphasize, and this is going to be for a very, very small minority of you. A lot of you might simply be waiting on a loan, approval for a loan, or some type of funding. I do feel that um, if you have been waiting since May, this is a situation that will clear itself up in August, okay? If you have just recently applied for this situation and if you have financial constraints and you're very, very worried, I do see something picking up in the month of August. Um, either money coming through, through a financial institution, through a lending institution, or through a private party. But I do feel the amount itself is going to be a little bit less than what you expected, okay? On the other hand, um, you might be traveling a lot. So I feel like it is digging into your purse. It's emptying your financial resources. So be mindful about that energy, okay? So I do feel like it's a very good month. Uh, try to stay focused and try to, you know, um, be careful about communication with other people, especially if they're, they're a little bit more sensitive, okay? So let's see, Libras, what's in store for you for love and relationships, romance? Love, romance, relationships. Love, romance, and relationships for Libra, June 2016. Okay, we've got quite a few jumpers here. So we've got, and um, if you're just, you know, if you've never been married, if you're just on the dating market and you're seeing, looking at multiple, like a few options, I feel like you might be dealing with an air sign. So another um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I do feel as well, there is also a fire sign. So the fire sign are... Um, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. And I do feel there is a great sense of physical attraction coming through with the air sign or with the fire sign. It, it seems almost like this addictive um, type of energy where you can't get enough of each other. And I feel that a lot of you are kind of afraid of it. It stirs your passion. And as an air sign, you're not comfortable with that. 
what I do feel as well is that um, you want to take it very, very slow when the relationship starts out with, you know, in this um, magical, like, uh, burst, like, fervor. I, I feel like it would behoove you to, you know, slow down, slow things down a little bit and don't get caught up in this trap, mainly because I feel like it's happening so fast and there is so much, like, passion and chemistry and I feel like you're kind of delirious, I guess, which is a good feeling if, you know, you... you but you, you want to make sure that you, you're level-headed and that you've got your feet firmly planted. I feel like it's the ground. And I feel like it can. I feel like it can. But you want to also, um, I guess, like move it along. If that's what you want, have a talk and finalize it, okay? Don't leave things in the balance. Don't try to play it cool and see if the other person would um, approach you first. I feel like it's really important for you to take initiative. If it's something that you want, if you like this person, uh, take the initiative and move it along because I feel like overall you're going to have a lot of success, okay? But I do feel that for those of you who are dating and you feel like there's nothing holding you together with this person that you're having this very strong attraction with, I feel like they might... Um, it might just be a physical connection. I feel like they're not in a position to give you any more than that. And if that sounds familiar to you, it is really important for you to also, you know, recognize that and not put your life on hold waiting for this person to change because I feel like it's more of a self-imposed um, lull in energy. So the energy is there for expansion, but I feel like you're keeping yourself hostage waiting for somebody to change their mind. And they're not looking for a long-term committed relationship. They're looking more for fun, okay? So be careful about that, okay, Libras? So I do hope you enjoy the rest of your month. Um, I will be back for the mid-month reading.